God. Joey Moss, bad boy gaming. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? We're busting open this sealed case. Set boosters. Commander Legends. Baldur's Gate. It's going down, baby. We're up inside right now, ground zero. If you guys are ever in the area, check them out. Strongsville, Ohio. It's like 15 minutes from the uh, from the airport, from good old Hopkins. And uh, yeah, it's just like almost a straight freeway shot, but this is very, very exciting. Whew, get a load of that goodness. I have not checked out the spoilers at all when it comes to this set whatsoever. I'm not really certain what's all up in store. I actually heard quite a few people were like just overwhelmed with everything and they're like, you know what? I didn't really check out spoilers either. I hope it's a good set. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna just dive right in. Right now. You guys ready? Let's get to cracking, Captain. Oh boy, okay. Slipping and sliding the first box open. This is different. These are small. Look how small this is. Look how short staffed that is. There's like 20 packs in here. Hold on, let's find out. So there you go. The old Dungeons and Dragons. Good stuff. Magic Companion. We all need one of those. We've got some rat on here. Whoa. I mean, the box was really, really short staffed, but. Let's take a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, 18, 18 packs. Okay, so we're probably gonna be cracking open maybe three boxes, maybe? We'll see what's going on, man. How is everyone doing? Who is excited? Who actually checked out the spoilers for this set? I'm gonna put these right over here on the corner. We're gonna crack those as well in this video. But uh, yeah, this is the set boosters. Set boosters, oh man, whoa. Get a load of you. This is my first time seeing any of this. Master Chef. I wish I had one of those. All right. My Queen Winoid. I'm not sure. The old Geoid Golem. Meteor Golem. Meteor Golem. Isn't, wasn't Meteor Golem like a common? Does he get upshifted? It's a really good card. Maybe it wasn't uncommon before. There's Fireball. Classic Fireball. Holy crap. Thunder Wave. Whew. Some of that D20 action. Followed by Stalker Boy. Just for my own sake, I'm going to go a little slow in the beginning because I got no clue what's cracking here. Oh, hot dog. Some bell ringing. Okay, we got Vlakith, Vlak, Vlakith Champion. <laughs> that looks hot to try. That's in the etched uh, art right there. Etched foil. That's probably a solid little hit right there. Okay. And then we got Friend of the Forest. Human Elf Druid. Tokens you control have tap. Wow. Choose a background. You can have a background as a second commander. So as a second commander, isn't that like similar to like, then they have like a pal commander thing? Isn't it like the same thing? I have no idea. Cloak of the bat. Cloak of the bat. Okay. Okay. That's our foil. All right. Companion, not companion. Joey, Joey, the gears are turning. We're going to get there eventually. Okay, here we go. So we got our mountain. Man, everything looks really nice right now. Everything looks really, really nice. Are we going to see any serial numbered stuff? Probably not. Um, I was paying attention, though. <sighs> Look at all that powder. Wizards, come on, guys. You guys go too hard, you know? Color of the small. I want to color of the smell. I might be smelling from the BO right now. Who knows? Overwhelming encounter. Okay, okay, there we go. Wild Mage, get a load of that. Any cards you want to focus on, by all means, please just take a moment and just pause. There we go, focus is back. And uh, you can read up read up on what all they do. So a rare to an uncommon. Okay, whoa, is that another etch? Wow, back-to-back -back etch, you don't say. Okay, there's Cultist of the Absolute. Interesting. I was not expecting that. Okay. And sculpt, sculpted sunburst. A whole lot of action going on here. I'm trying to make sense of like what cards would be worth a whole bunch. This is set boosters, and we already got two etched foils. So that's pretty uh, pretty intense, to say the least. There's Badger Boy and a Demon. Whew. I wonder if they're ever going to do like etched foils on the token cards. I think that'd be kind of neat. Get a load of that, though. That's an adventure card. 
hot dogs. <laughs> so they brought Adventures back uh, for this set. Interesting. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Let me know what you guys are buying. Um, who's dipping their toes in the wet sand <laughs> and uh, and going deep in this uh, in this set? I already know I'm going to be picking up probably uh, maybe a box or two. I'm not sure of what yet. I mean, I got to get a good feel for it. Look at all these gates. Oh, gates are back. Holy crap. Cast down with some new art. That's pretty cool. Okay. The old mole. Delver. Oh, boy. Okay. Gut, True, Soul, Zealot. And I wonder what's going to be in the Commander decks. Another Etch Foil. So... Wow, are they making etch foils like something that's just common now? That's pretty nuts. Okay, I'm not complaining. Um, but as we know, the etch foils don't curl nearly as much as the non etch. So, Gale's Redirection, followed by Goggles of Night. You got to have your goggles at night. And Jeff D, I like how he signed right there. That's pretty nice. Okay, hey, Ranger of Eos. There we go. So, our first list card. Not too shabby. Okay. Still smacking them down. Still going a little slow, but I guarantee you I will I will pick things up in just a moment. And big shout outs. Thank you, Ground Zero, for letting me crack these up in the shop. Really, really cool of you guys. I should say of you guy. <laughs> of you guy. Alright. Marching Dudron. Flaming Fister. Okay. A lot of fists getting flamed. We want to see them big shots. Bane, Lord of Darkness. Some pretty sweet art there. All right. With a whole lot of text. Five deuce. Again, I just, I simply don't have time to go over everything or you guys would be here for like a two hour opening and no one wants that. Wow. Common etched foil. So in these set boosters, you're guaranteed to etch in every single pack. At least that's my understanding. Here's Harvester. Very cool. Wow. Wow. They are really bringing back the adventure stuff, man. And the dungeons. I wonder what cards are going to creep up in price from the dungeons. And there we go. The initiative. Whenever one or more creatures a player controls deal combat damage to you, that player takes the initiative. Whenever you take the initiative and at the beginning of your upkeep, venture into Undercity. If you're in a dungeon, advance to the next room. If you're not, enter Undercity. You can take the initiative if you already have it. Wow. Okay. And there's a little image of the Undercity. Holy smothering tithe, baby. There seems like a lot going on here. Um, but I'd rather not do my research on these anymore. Hey, we got a we got a signed card. There's old Potter. Is it serial numbered? Heck to the no. But that's cool. First, uh, first one of our little signature art cards there. Okay. Is that lightning bolt? That's lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. Wow, they brought lightning bolt back. I, I keep looking for my bell. There's no bell here. Lightning bolt. That is legit, man. Okay. So lightning bolt all up in the piece. Colossal. Wow. Wow. There's a dragon. Topaz dragon. And flying in death touch. And it's got adventure on it. Man. Another dragon. Things are getting crazy. Another dragon. We got three dragons in a row. I was hoping, oh, that's another dragon. It's a dragon peasant. It's a dragon peasant. Legendary creature uncommon. Wow, man. Okay, this is exciting, just seeing all this for the very first time. Caller of the smell. Can we, we're going to say it's smell. I don't care. It's not small anymore. It's smell. All right, then we got Blade of Frontiers. There we go, solid. So etch foil, every single pack. Oh, wow. Battle Angels of Tear? Flying, it's got the Myriad, Angel Knight 4-4. Four, four. Whenever Battle Angels of Tear deals combat damage to a player, draw a card if that player has more cards in hand than each other player. Then you create a treasure token if that player controls more lands than each other player. Then you gain three life if that player has more, more life than each other player. Holy crap. And a Tesseret. Wow, what a pack right there. Extended Art Foil. Mythic, by the way, followed by the old uh, Artifice Master himself, Tezzeret. Wow, okay. I would expect nothing less than, like, some some big hits. You know, it's like some big, big pulls out of this. You're talking, 
Only 18 packs per box. There's another signed card. Okay. Very nice. I'll let you see who the artist is really quick. There you go. Okay. Um, yeah, I would expect nothing less but like a lot of value. Uh, there's Gondgate. Sure. Another dragon. I, I, I did. I was aware that dragons were all plenty in this set. I was aware of that. There's Dragon Shaman. Okay. Oh, man. Another Edge Foil. Yeah, they really had a load of the Edge Foils in this one. Gale's Redirection. I wonder if that's how it's going to be for the uh, Crystal Dragon. I wonder how, if it's going to be that intense. That'll plenty um, for the collector boxes also. Okay. And there's the Initiate again. The Initiative. The Initiative. All right. Still trucking along, baby. I think we're going to go a little bit faster now. We're going to speed things up just a little bit. So we already got a good idea of what's all the common uncommon. Actually, not really. There's a lot of cards in this set. <laughs> There's Outlander. Gale. Okay, so we got a foil rare etch card this time. I think it's our first etch foil rare, possibly. Very cool. Human wizard dude. All right. And the entertainer. Popular entertainer. It's not me. Hey, a foil uh, mythic. There we go. Fury of Avernus. Whenever you attack, if it's the first combat phase of the turn, untap all attacking creatures. They gain first strike until end of turn. After this phase, there's an additional combat phase. Choose a background. Wow. Okay, so like the partner thing. Yes, partner. There, we finally said it. And Curse of Echoes. Wow. Okay. Someone let me know. Um, somebody let me know how many list cards we're dealing with this time around. Because the last set that dropped, I mean, I was blown away. There's only like 66. I would assume there's more this time around. There's Command Tower. Really, really cool. Okay. I would assume there's more, though, you know? All right, here we go. Ooh, a nice rare. Shattered one in the Etch Foil. Almost, you can almost barely tell a Etch Foil, but that's Etch Foil. All right, and then we got Raised by Giants. Yeah. That'd be kind of scary. Like, if you were not a giant and you were raised by giants... So we got what, a triple rare pack so far. Wizards, <laughs> Wizards of Fae. Nice, nice. Ooh, Seagate. So the gates are back. Wow. That one gate card from Dragon's Maze, right? Well, I think it was Dragon's Maze. That lets you outright win the game if you know X, Y, and Z is met. I think uh, that, that card probably shot up in price already. I'm sure it has. I'm, like, late to the game. I know. That's crazy. But I did pick up a bunch of those when they were dirt cheap a long time ago. I don't know where the heck they're at for the life of me. But they're out. They're floating around there somewhere. There we go. The Candent Popular Entertainer again. And the Bashor. Okay. Bronze Dragon. What do you do? Flying whenever ancient bronze dragon deals combat damage to a player, roll a d20. When you do, put X plus one plus one counters on each of up to two target creatures, where X is a result. So you could essentially put up to like 40 counters on, on something. Okay, that's a big boy. We'll take that. That goes in the... Do we have a mythic pile? Let's try to make a mythic pile real quick. Dun -dun -dun. We have two mythics. There was a third mythic. There we go. We have three mythic cards so far out of this. And there's Hunter Boy with a copy. Okay. 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 Man, because of all the reading we're doing, yeah, we are definitely uh, uh, spending a lot of time on this video. But Moss Diamond. Beautiful. Loving it. All right. That Throne of Eldraine, like, throwback. It's crazy, man. They brought that back quick. That mechanic must be that good. Uh, there's Night Witch. Okay. Flaming Fist Boy. Sure. I'm trying to see if there's any differences in, like, uh, the symbol to see if we got, like, some commander cards as well from the commander set. <laughs> Deathbringer. Legion Loyalty. Creatures you control have Myriad. Whenever a creature with Myriad attacks for each opponent other than defending player, you may create a token that's a copy of that creature that's tapped and attacking that player or a planeswalker they control. Exile the tokens at the end of combat. Wow. Okay. Candle keep boy. <sighs> I'm not even sure what to make of that. Okay. Eight drop enchantment. Yep, that's pretty uh pretty intense. So we're up to four mythic cards already. It's only 18 packs. You'd think I'd be like already done with this, but no. 
Um, I'll zip through the second box, though, I'll tell you that. But this first box, I'm, I'm, I'm learning along. Here we go, Gale, Waterdeep. We got any lands in this set? Should be lands or something. The Council of Four. Zero eight. Wow, whenever a player draws their second card during their turn, you draw a card. Whenever a player casts their second spell during their turn, you get two, two. Okay. So some nice little advantage there from people doing a whole lot of stuff on the other side of the board. Not bad. Uh, Adept. I love the art on these. It's so simple, yet so like, so Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, you following me? Okay. Human boar, criminal past, and the initiative. Okay, the initiate. I'm gonna say the initiative. Is it the? Is it initiative? It is initiative. I'm an idiot. Initiate. Why was I saying initiate? Because I'm a dimwit. <laughs> I'm a. Di you mix dumb and dim together, you get dimwit. There you go. All right. We got five mythic cards already. Not bad. Swampage. How about a land? I think that there are some land cards in here. There should be. Dragonheart. Whole lot of focus on dragons, which is really, really cool. Alder Raven Guard. There's our edge foil again. Guaranteed edge foil. Ooh, what's this? It's only a two drop in white. You gotta pay attention to those. Flash, whenever an opponent searches their library, you gain one life. Okay. That seems a little busted there. Um, yeah. That could be legal in other formats besides Commander? Probably. If so, uh, that's really good for card draw. I could see that being one of the more valuable cards in this set. Without a freaking doubt. Okay. We got Lurking Green Dragon, which is a common. Oh, man. All right. I'm enjoying this, and I hope you guys are too. Like, I'm, I'm learning as I go right now. And uh, if you're learning as we go right now too, hit that like button. Um, we're just we're just checking out the latest cards, man. This is really really cool. All right, Slaughter the Strong. It's been a lot of commander sets lately. Invoker Adept, would you? Master Chef Boy, and the Refined Grizzly can't be countered. <laughs> it's a bear. Vigilance Reach Trample and Ward Two. Holy crap, that's a lot. Can you imagine that back in the day on Magic card? This thing would be busted and played in every single deck. Unbelievable. Hey, there's an angel. Five drop angel. Pretty cool. All right. Put the plant here. Veteran soldier. Okay. Okay. Wow. That was our etch, by the way, that grizzly bear. All right. I think we'll do two boxes this first opening. This first run is going to be two boxes. Let's see what else we get. Just because I kind of took my time already. All right. Candle keep sage. Flaming fist. Common etch. Loving it. Oh man, there's so much going on. Plume Adventurer. I'll leave it on the screen for a second. Just if anyone wants to pause, by all means, go ahead and pause it up. If this is your first uh, exposure to uh, the latest set, which it is mine, but just for video purposes, you know, time wise, I'm just going to kind of zip through. Hey, a goat token, hot dogs. Okay. All right. We're down to four packs from a set booster. I kind of got a feel for how it goes. It's nuts to see Adventures back. That is nuts. Okay. So a Seer. I like how it can go a rare into an uncommon. Or common, for that matter. There we go. Irkin. You're Irkin for a hurting. Okay. That's a foil etch. Acrobatics. Sure. Stower. Jellyfish. And Bane's Contingent. Contingency. Contingency. We can talk here. Hey, there's Skullwinder. Okay, cool. We didn't do too bad with our list pools, I don't believe. Down to three packs. We got two signed art cards already. There we go. Going right to the bread and butter. All right, okay. Wow, there's a lot of cards in this set. There are a lot of cards in this set. Scion of Hylaster. What is, um, what's the big, like, what's the card we're all looking to get? What's, like, the most expensive? Ascend from Avernus. Or, like, are they all evened out this time? Usually there's, like, a chase card, you know? I wonder it's going to be in this one. And Skeleton Boy. Okay. I almost want to, like, pause and do some research in between just to check out some stuff. I think I will. I'm going to pause and do some research in between. 
Shwink. There we go. Sentinel Worm. So many different rares. There's a seems like there's a lot of rares in this. Alright. Co Sailor. Sure. Displacer Kitten. <laughs> Meow. I like kitties. I know. Except for when they grow up. Then it's like, get out of here, kit. Okay, there are lands. Luxury Sweet. Hot Dogs. So they did finally reprint those. Uh, it was about time. What was the last time we saw these? Was uh, Battle Bond? That's, that's forever in a day, man. And there's Dragonheart. Okay. Followed by Haruuna. She is cute. Just dancing with all that green slime. Mm, she's having a grand old time, I bet. Final pack from this box. Let's see what we get. I think we did pretty good already. That green dragon is probably up there in price. All right. Boom, boom, boom. Nope, not yet. Holy crap. Oh, not yet again. There we go. Whew. Beautiful, beautiful art. That's the Astral Hunter. Very cool. Got some glide up in there, you know. All right. And reflecting Pool. What? They reprinted Reflecting Pool. Add one man of any type that a land you control could produce. I can't believe they reprinted that. That's nutty. Reflecting Pool got a reprint. Okay. <laughs> okay. Probably probably needed one, though, you know. Uh, there we go. Wow. And then we do have another rare. Oh, it's a rare. I thought it was a mythic for a second. Gor Gorgut's boss. Big boy. And the old Sky Marcher as Pirates. Okay. For our list pool. So, pretty exciting so far, first box. Let me just take a little look. All right, just based on the information I'm looking at here, uh, Mince and Boo are up there. That's at like 39, 40 bucks. Ancient Bronze Dragon. The one with the uh, the showcase. That seems to be the most, well, it's up there in price. I can't say the most expensive. Oh, market price is $72. Holy crap. Uh, Dreadwolf Herald. It's at 39. These prices are going to go all over the place because we're going to find out there's some scarcity among these cards. There's there's nothing that's just like, hey, I'm like a thousand dollar bill right now, or I'm like a hundred dollar bill, you know. So that means there there's some wiggle room. Uh, there's some profits that could be made if if you know what you're doing, or if you got insider trader information at Wizards of the Coast, uh, <laughs> and you know what to pick up, you know what's going to spike. But this is uh, pretty interesting so far, nonetheless. Without doing any research, yeah. But yeah, Ancient, um, it seems like the Mythic Dragons are definitely up there in price. All right, we're going to zip through this one a little bit quicker here. Let's see what we get. Some of these uncommons, I guarantee, are worth a penny, too. All right, and there's Gloom Stalker. Ooh, okay. Etchy Boy. A lot of etch. Etch guaranteed in every pack. Adventurer. An invoker. Okay, and a treasure card. Okay, fair. What else we got here? Uh, Tasha, or Tasha, the Witch Queen. She's up there in price also. Sitting around like around $35, $40. Ooh, Co Serpent. Really neat art on these. Okay. Let's see what else we got. There's Wise Mentor, followed by Brawler Boy. Sure. Those look so, so good, man. Okay. And Lord of Bones, not bad. Fanatics sink into Takanuma. So they did not get crate. I think the list card pull rate is pretty, pretty high. Just based on that right there. Uh, seeing a common list card compared to the last set where there were no common. Oh, was there a common? I think there may have been one, or like maybe one uncommon or something like that. But they definitely mixed things up this time around. All right, we got Cast Down, Veteran Boy, Master Chef, and our Etch. That's pretty legit. Wand of Wonder, Cliffgate. Ooh, that looks pretty. Very, very nice. And a Soldier. Okay. It's only 18 packs. It, it, it seems like it. I'm surprised it takes so long for me to go through them. Maybe because I'm focused too much on each one. That's okay, though. We're enjoying this together. Let's see what else. Uh, we are going to be cracking open a lot of this product. So definitely stick around. Popular Entertainer in the Etch Foil. Very cool. With Arch Magi. Arch Magi. Archie Magi? Sure. And Caller of the Smell. We're always going to say it's the smell, man. <laughs> we have fun around here, huh? All right. 
see what else we get. I'm looking for that massive hit, but I don't, even, I don't even know what a massive hit would be yet. I guess one of the Planeswalkers would be pretty cool to pull one of those. That'd be kind of cool. Okay. We got Keen. This guy. It's interesting. Rare, and then it goes into like a common or uncommon. Pretty nuts. Leader. I'm sure there's a reason for that. Like maybe there. Yeah, it's a legendary. There we go. Uh, Chaos Adventurer. Robe. Okay. Got a little rare. Rare foil there. Shake and bake, baby. Oh, that looks nice. What card is that on? We're going to find out. Let's pull that guy. I don't think there's any rares or mythics up front so far. There's this guy. Eldritch Pact. Target player draws X cards and loses X life for actually the number of cards in their graveyard. Yikes. Okay. I mean, yeah, you, you mill somebody out and then just blast it with that. Sakashima Student. This card printed yet again. One of the more valuable uh, cards, but depending. I mean, because it was on the list last time in the last set, and there was only like 66 cards or 67 cards on that list. So they were all plentiful, and the price has gone down already. But depending how big this one is, you know, will depict how much the price definitely slides for sure. Okay. The Butcher Boy in Etch. Call of Void. And we got the old monk. <laughs> Brawl, Chief of Compliance in the uh, Time Spiral, in the remastered uh, frame there. That's pretty cool. Okay. We got two. Any Mythics? Do we have any Mythics yet? I want to say two Mythics. No, no Mythics yet. Oh, oh my goodness. We dropped ourselves the Dream Fracture. We just fractured the Dream. That happens. Delver. Okay. Crafter Boy. I smell a Mythic coming. You guys smell that? Mm. Oh, how about a Mythic in uh, the etched, in the etchy? Seems like they might be scarce. There it is. Ancient Silver Dragon. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whenever Ancient Silver Dragon deals combat damage to a player, so you got to deal combat damage. Roll a d20. Draw cards equal to the, to the result. You have no maximum hand size for the rest of the game. That's kind of cool. So you should get a... T whoa, back-to-back -back Mythic cards. Majestic Genesis. Reveal the top X cards of your library where X is the greatest mana value of a commander you own on the battlefield or in the command zone. You may put any number of permanent cards from among them onto the battlefield. Put the rest on the bottom and go, holy crap. There is some definite busted stuff going on here, man. But we are in commander. <laughs> we are playing in commander. And in commander, almost anything goes. And this is where you see a lot of the big, crazy spells come out. But, you know, high, high CMC. So I guess it kind of does make sense. All right. Very not so man. Whoop. Skipping ahead. We got another mythic. All right. When Volo enters the battlefield, create Volo's Journal, a legendary colorless artifact token with hexproof. And whenever you cast a creature spell, note one of its creature types that hasn't been noted for this artifact. Reduce tap. Draw a card for each creature type noted. For target permanent, your control named Volo's Journal. Choose a background. Two, three. Okay. So another mythic. There we go. There's Raised by Giants again. Scion of Halstar. I wonder if the mythic etch foils are, like, really sought after because I don't think we pulled any yet. Lord of Darkness and the Cult. The Cultist boy showing up with a boar. Okay. Yeah, this has been a real treat. But come back because I will zip through them a lot quicker. Lightning bolt, hey, hot dogs. I will go through them a lot faster next uh, go around. There's night witch. Okay. 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 Oh, oh, oh brown pile. Marvels and the edge foil. Hey, battle of the angels of tear again. Non extended art, non foil version there. And we got this sweet little fellow. Astral confrontation. Not bad. That one white card definitely stood out to me, though. Uh, was it the Ogama, it's called, or something like that? What the heck? Look at that. <laughs> Someone just rode in dirt, and they're like, yeah, we'll put that there. Another lightning bolt. Those lightning bolts are probably a buck or two apiece. All right. We got uh, Decadent yet again. Delver Boy. 
There we go. Lord of Darkness etch foil. Sometimes hard to make out, but it's there. And Ravenous Adventurer. Oh, I'm sorry, I said Ravenous. Ravenloft Adventurer. Okay. Hey, a foil rare. Not bad. Invoker Adept. With a Scarecrow going out the back door. So, some, it seems like some pretty good value so far. Yeah, without knowing too much. It's hard to say. I would like to see another dragon, though. Another mythic dragon. We'll see what we get. Foil. Come on, Daddy Elf. Sky down. Lucy in the sky with diamonds. There we go. Master Chef. Where are the etch mythics? Legendary creature God. That boy looks pretty scary. 752. Oh okay. okay. Wizards of Thay. Keen. Reflecting Pool Foil. That is probably a bit more sought after than some of the other cards here. So there you have it. Nice Reflecting Pool Foil. We will take it. That should go in the special, special pile, but we're sorting it again after all this. All right. Man, for 18 packs. I'm surprised we're at uh, 30, 32 minutes already. It's pretty nuts. All right. Shattered One. Acolyte Boy. Dungeon Delver. The Etch. Packed. And Foil Planes. Oh, that's kind of weak sauce. All right. But after a Reflecting Pool Foil. I would imagine the Reflecting Pool Foil, I mean, at this very time, probably like 50 bucks, 45 bucks, something like that. But, yeah, that's going to tank really quick. All right. Another lightning bolt, or a lightning bolt foil. If there's a lightning bolt etch foil, I can imagine that being something pretty, uh, pretty highly sought after. Dragonheart with the etch. This guy. <sighs> Hello, dear. I just want to tickle you. In this little segment of your body right there. Let's get a little niche going on there. Little squeak squares. What? I don't know. All right. <laughs> we got the two canners. Two, two, two tuckaneers. The two caneers. Sounds like something out of a 90s cartoon. Could be. Look at that brain. Oh, yeah, there's Eldrazi in here. I know that. I know that much. There are Eldrazi in here. That is correct. There are Eldrazi in here. I don't know how many. I know there's at least one Eldrazi. We'll see. Maybe we get one. Who knows? Or maybe it's only in certain packs. Who knows what Wizards are doing these days? There we go. Who the heck knows anymore? All right, reversal. Circle of the land, dude. And that's all short for there. Three packs to go. Thanks, everyone, for tuning into this. It was uh, really, really cool of Ground Zero to let me crack these open so we could all get a, a little little look-see as to what's in the set without having to watch spoiler videos. Um, yeah, I mean, there's not much more to say. If you're ever in the area, check them out. Merciless Soul, so definitely hit the like button just for that. Oh, cool. Basilisk Collar with some new art. I like that. That's pretty nice. Ooh, hot dogs. Bramble Sovereign. Whenever another non-token creature enters the battlefield, you may pay two. If you do, that creature's controller creates a token that's a copy of the... Holy crap. All right. That's a brutality, all right. Okay. That's pretty nice. Goes in the mythic pile. Endless water. Okay. Down to two packs. There's another... Uh, oh, that's cool. What card is that on? That looks pretty, oh, whoa, well, look at that. There's some other details on here. Nothing. Challenge 2, armor class 15 hit points. Wow, look at all that. That's like uh, what you'd read on uh, Dungeons and Dragons, right? Card, I would imagine. It's pretty neat that they did that. Okay. I was never big in Dungeons and Dragons. I never even played the game, to be completely honest with you guys. Um, but I do like the little miniature figures and all that stuff that goes along with it. I think it's pretty neat. Dragon Cultist and the Edge Foil. The old dude piping. Don't see too many of those. So, hmm, interesting. To showcase foil cards. Ink Eyes Servant of Oni. Whoa. Very cool. So, it's almost like the list cards went back to their origins. Where, you know, they're not all mythic and rare. You know, it's like they just flooded that one set with them. And the one set boosters. But this was very interesting to see, without a doubt. Oh, nope, you don't go there. You don't go over there. Okay. 
what are we going to close it out with? Dragon, dragon. Are we going to get a big boy dragon? I hope we do. There's a noble heritage. Man, it seems like a lot of cards in this set. <laughs> uh, candle keep boy. Altar of Bull. <laughs> Altar of Bull. That seems like a pretty dope card, though. Sweet art on that one, too. Breath, breathe weapon, breath weapon, breathe weapon, breath weapon, and a knight out the back. Okay. So my first experience with this, um, Holy Variety, which I think is pretty cool. There seems to be a lot more cards than I, than I thought would be in this set, but that's pretty good, I believe. Um, seeing an etch foil in every single pack was a surprise. Um, it's not as crazy with the pool rates. It's yet to be determined. We still have two more cases to go through and four more boxes we're going to rip through maybe even more than that um draft boosters coming all that crazy stuff guys um so yeah a lot to learn on this set so far especially with pool rates but you know we like to determine that stuff here uh hands on so again thank you ground zero appreciate it and uh leave a like and a comment um what you're looking forward to in this set and if you're going to be participating in a pre-release i'd like to hear about that too thanks for watching guys Skadoosh.